Draft Theater 1, 2 and 2, and it's list day. And today's list day is going to be a little bit different. Instead of going over one of the main sets of the game or some other bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, instead we're going to be looking at some of my past videos. Now, to uh, drop character for a sec, um, the impetus for doing this video was mostly due to the fact that I've been, uh, I've been dealing with some things, mostly personal. However, it's not all doom and gloom. The last couple of years have actually been a lot of fun, and... Ever since I moved to New York, I've had a lot of cool adventures. And uh, what I wanted to do was look at a couple of my older videos, uh, five of my favorites that were just like fun to make or whatever, that they might not have gotten a ton of views or whatever because they were like off topic or something like that. But just as I wanted to bring attention to some of the cool stuff that's happened over the last couple of years and kind of highlight some good things. Uh, this is probably cathartic for me, uh, so bear with me. So these are the top five favorite videos that I've ever made uh, for one reason or another. Uh, probably in no specific order, except maybe number one. And these is literally my personal opinions. So there's, <laughs> there is no rules to this, so let's go. Number five is my UA Dream Card video. Uh, as far as a piece of YouTube content, it's a little boring, and the, the shot composition's extremely old. Yeah, uh, that was before I was using like more of my more modern equipment. However, uh, the cool thing about this video was I made a card for the UA decks that I actually thought would really, really help the deck, and in testing it really did. Basically, uh, it was fun because I got a chance to stretch my coding legs, it's not something I have done since like college, so that was a lot of fun. I basically just cannibalized code from several other cards and tweaked it a little bit enough for it to work. Um, I ended up coming with uh, coming up with a really cool little card, uh, UA uh, Cheering Spirit, I think was her name. Um, so here's a clip. Nine. Torrential tribute. That blows. Well, okay. <laughs> like, oh, that sucks. Oh well. It makes the deck extremely back row resistant. Now, uh, as you guys know, Ryan has been a big supporter of my channel, and he really, really helps me immensely. But uh, the other unsung hero for the channel is my buddy Marion. We uh, we met oh, through uh, Yugi Nono, uh, who was putting together the Team Bro Pirate at the time, and he had took take a bunch of us uh, uh, smaller channels at the time and, and smushed us together to make the team bro pirate kind of to bring us all up and have some fun with Yu-Gi-Oh! and Marion was actually one of the group and the two of us kind of hit it off because we have a very very similar sense of uh, sick sense of humor and uh, you know he's always in the live streams and, and he's always helping me out so uh, and this is a video that we did with him it was a, a Cosmo deck building challenge I told him I wanted him to make a dark deck uh, like a dark side deck for Cosmos, and I would make a light side, and we have a fun uh, duel uh, against each other. And it got, I got in my head. I was like, you know what? We should do a cheesy skit. So the the video started like this. It was a lot of fun. So uh, again, it's old, so the green screen is bad. But I appreciated the lightsaber effect that I did. <laughs> so here's that one. What's up guys, David Miner1212 here today, and I got something really special for you. It's my Light Side Cosmo deck. Yeah, uh, I was looking for a way to build the deck without getting Dark Destroyers because they're really expensive. Uh, and I figured because they just went up that giant price jump due to the uh, adjusted ban list, so I figured, hey, why not? So without further ado, let's slight. I will destroy you, Obi-1212. Darth Caster, I should have known. Hey, but really, uh, we gotta talk about the comments you've been leaving on all my videos. It's really kind of in a- Silence, Jedi! Your pitiful light side cosmos are no match for the powers of the dark side. Wait, you built dark cosmos? What about, like, Dark Destroyer? He's like 140 bucks right now. <laughs> I play on Dev Pro, so who cares? Now this next one's kind of a this next one's kind of bittersweet. My uh, my two dual tunes videos, uh, make a deck and a whole new game, based on uh, Mulan's make a man out of you and Aladdin's a whole new world. My ex girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend at the time, Caitlin, uh, aspiring Broadway star, wonderful singer. She helped me with this. She was my singing coach and my sound engineer. Obviously, her leaving was was really rough on me, and it, uh, 
it's a bit awkward for certain things. However, I cannot deny that I love these two videos. They came out wonderful and they are a lot of fun. So thank you, Caitlin, for all your help with these and um, I wish you the best. Here's a clip from both. It's fun if you know how to play. I, I could teach you. Yeah, I have adult things to do. Come on, trust me, it's fun. Do you trust me? Uh, no? I show you this game Shining, shimmering hollows Come on, Caitlin, now please Can you just let me be your guy? Play some tag Ask of Restrict to shut down the mind Make a deck Destroy the pendulums with typhoon Play some tag Infernoid Cosmo in PK Fire Imperial Iron Wall and of moon Now this uh, number two actually is a it's a three fur my green screen specials one two and three these are very old uh, if you've joined the channel in the last year or two you probably didn't even know these existed which is that that is the bonus to this whole thing is to bring light to some of my videos that were a lot of work that no one watched. Oh, well, that's not the point. The point is for me to uh, try to make myself feel good about myself because I could I could really use the uh, the the positive uh, silver lining look at the last couple of years. These were fun because I got to learn a lot about like video editing and what it took to actually like do composite shots and stuff. And did I do a good job? Not really, but I certainly learned a lot of ways of not do something. <laughs> so uh, these were a lot of fun, and you guys should check these out. So. Here's a clip. People say shit like, I want this game or any Stop card recording game and come back to, be based to bed. On skill. That will never Now all of those videos were made before Caitlin left. It was really rough there that first year because I was a mess and it was just simply physically harder to do things for the channel. None of it was very fun. However, around Christmas uh, 2017, I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna stop moping around and I'm gonna do my very best to kind of get back some of that spirit. So this, number one, is my Christmas special from that year. This was a lot of fun to do and it was kind of me, you know, doing my best to learn how to do it by myself and, and be a big boy, you know? And honestly, I actually, this is probably my all-time favorite video that I've ever made. It's, I think it's actually legitimately funny. It's biased, let's say. However, I think I can objectively say I really enjoyed this video. It came out well. Everyone who helped me with it, thank you so much. And uh, here's a clip. Oh! Wake hey, up, oh, you lazy head man. Oh, it's my partner Ryan. What are you doing here? I'll be here to get your head on straight, you thinking about quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! Why are you speaking with a Jamaican accent? But because I'm the Bob Marley of the story. Don't you mean Jacob Marley? No, I, I, I guess, I guess that makes, uh, that makes more sense. Uh, okay, but what the hell are you doing here? Well, like I said, I'm here to make sure that you don't quit the game. Okay, you live like 270 miles away. There's no way that you're actually here. You must be a hallucination, like, from a bad chopped cheese from the bodega down the street. Fine. If you don't listen to me, then here's a warning. Is it a solemn warning? Quite. All right, guys. That was my little top five here for the week. Uh, thank you, Ryan and Marion, for all the help you guys have, have given me over the years, and especially Ryan for uh, keeping me afloat for the last two years. Uh, you did a lot. And then... Uh, Tommy and Jason, you guys too, you guys pretty much kept me sane for the last two years. Kept me in the game, got me something to do, got me out of the house. There's a reason why I include you guys in videos. <laughs> so thanks to all my friends for for doing that. Um, all you guys out there for keeping your support and, and not bailing on me simply because you noticed that Dave's in kind of a funk. I haven't publicly explained any of it, so um, I'm still going to try to be a little vague about it because it obviously it's my own personal things, but know that 
there was a reason, and I'm I'm on the I'm on the very far back end of it now. I'm I'm doing things that I need to do in order to be healthy. So, and I feel like I feel like publicly admitting about all this and, and actually talking about it with you guys, who's, who've been here since the beginning, is probably it's probably important. So thank you guys for sticking around and. Let's keep the channel going. I'm actually feeling good for once. So, in this comment section, how about you guys leave me ideas for what you'd like to see me do, because I've gotten to 38,000 subscribers doing what I want to do. I'd like to double that, at least. But I think at this point, I'm gonna have to reach out to you guys, the guys that make the channel the channel. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, if you have some good ideas, I'll credit you guys, and, and it'll be cool. And I really wanna, I really wanna get this moving again. I'm. I'm starting to actually feel like myself again, so I, I really want to do that. But anyway guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and remember guys, if you don't troll the better wheel, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Oh, hey losers, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Wanna watch something else? Hurry up and choose one of these, ugh. When are you gonna make a choice? This year would be nice.